everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jake Jabarelli of Jabarelli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. Thanks all for um, coming into the Discord this weekend. I really appreciate it. And uh, it's it's been awesome. Uh, we're making progress. We're learning stuff from each other. And yes, this is a live chart. Um, if you'd like to join, links in the uh, description down below. Just so you guys know, no, no fees, no charge, no nothing. It's all for fun. Um, if you make money, awesome. Just know it's, it's, anyways, let's get on to this. I wanted to talk about um, just a quick idea about um, how to read the market again. So the last uh, market read was the three candles. Uh, <laughs> prime examples happening in front of your eyes right now. <laughs> you got one, two, three, getting bigger, bigger, bigger. And this one's shrinking up right now, but at least it was pretty glaringly obvious. This one's bigger than that one, bigger than this one. So these four in a row all there you are. But I want to tell you about something that is kind of an indicator of the reverse. There's a lot of indicators, and obviously the market is an amorphous blob of, I want to quote uh, David Tennant from Doctor Who, uh, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, it It's hard to follow. No computer can really get, you know, guess it future guess it perfectly because it, it just doesn't follow perfect trends right there are trends but I want to talk about things that help you figure out when something's gonna happen I know I've mentioned some of this stuff before but this is this video in particular is about this so uh, it's the it's the micro tail I guess tiny tail the tail on the candle so you got, got the wick here we just talk generally about what these things are this space above the fat part of the block here is called the wick. And the wick can go either direction, on the red candle or on the green candle. But the tail, which is this thing sticking off the bottom, it, it could have been a wick, right? But usually it's a tail when it's a very small wick. So the tiny little thing down here at the bottom, you can kind of see it when I move the, the uh, marker. And that tiny little bit sticking off the bottom of the green candle there on the left, that's the tail. So when a candle has a tail, I know it sounds funny, but candles have tails, but uh, when it has a tail, that's when you know it's going the other way. So what you want to look for on the chart when you're reading the chart, and this is more of an active thing than a, than a thing that happens on its own. Like when you're following the chart, and the chart changes, you know, goes a certain direction with those triple candles I talked about in the last video. Um, that's a clear idea of, you know, direction. Um, actually, now that these have changed, you can see that it already broke. Um, big, sort of big, definitely bigger. These two definitely fall, but this one got short. So it didn't actually go, it didn't give you the full indicator. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the tail. The tail like on this green candle right here, is an indicator of the reverse direction. And you can see it when you watch it. It's not like it's a secret or anything. Eventually you'll get to you'll get to know the market and it'll make sense. But anytime you see a tail, whether it's on a red or a green candle, it is an indicator of the direction. It's like an arrow on the bottom or the top of the candle, well, the opposite side of the candle either way, indicating the new direction. So even though that candle's currently red in this case, or green in that case it's telling you it's turning around like I said if you watch it long enough that'll just make sense but you can it, it's a help of helpful prediction of the future now I will say it's not always a perfect tell and the way that I've learned it was that the candle the, the tail on the candle will give you an indicator of two to six candles in the future so maybe it doesn't turn around right away you get a, a tail and then you get a red and another red and then a green, or a red, 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 and green. But it's 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 a variableness. You know, the, the the market seems to go in five to six minute spurts, um, at the most. I, mean, I can obviously go further than that when there's a hard push one direction or another. But of course, you'll see those triple candles in a row. So, the tail is telling you the future. Not like I said, it's not predicting a perfect future. There's no way you can tell exactly what's going to happen. But it's giving you an idea of the new direction if it's flipping around and if the market goes up and down and up and down all day long um, but if you had a flat like this one like oh I'm reading this one I should jump in no tail tells you it's turning around and you got this one like oh you already had tail here so 
this one was probably going to have a tail if it wasn't going to go the other direction anyways. So, tails on candles are indicators of direction. That's the point of this one short video. It's all it's going to be is just tails on candles, and get, that's another helpful idea on how to trade.